was a time of heroes, daredevils, men who lived only to fly, and one of them was Waldo Pepper. Are you the best flyer in the world? I'm the second best flyer in the world. Hello, good people. Sudden death is my business, Pepper. Not good pilots. Don't worry, Mayor Beth. We're doing a great stunt. Uh, I don't want to be a stickler for accuracy, but you're just flying. She's just driving. I'm the one doing a great stunt. Faster! Waldo! Not now! Waldo! I got it! They were the best of a precious few. Miraculous survivors of the first war in the air, now risking everything to stay in the skies. Help me, somebody! Help me! The death spell of Lance Kessler! He is the best, isn't he? You can beat him, Waldo, in my monoplane. And if flying sometimes meant dying, there was glory enough even for that except to their women. I never get to see you unless you're all banged up. We could get married. Well, think of all the pretty girls you'd be missing. I try very hard to cut down. <laughs> hey, what are you trying to do? You can't land with her out there. Aerial cartwheel. What makes the great Waldo Pepper unique among the great air adventure films is its authenticity. Once again, men are flying as they did when planes were made of canvas, wood, and wire. And lives are laid on the line in wild and reckless stunts, all photographed in the air in a superb feat of flying and picture making. You can put highways in the sky for people to follow. Along with airlines and airmail, there's going to be big money in it, too, if you're smart. Well, I'm no chauffeur, and I'm no mailman. I'm a flyer, Newt. Second best. At last, he could challenge the world's number one flyer for supremacy of the sky. Thank you.